Hey guys, welcome back to Batch Makers, your favorite show that recaps all things Bachelor Nation. Before we continue with this episode, we're going to ask you very nicely, Michael, please deliver the news. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And In that order. In that order. Or reverse the order. It doesn't matter to us. Just do those things. Helps us. Enjoy this episode. We'll see you. We'll see you in the episode. Just keep watching. All right. Bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Batchmakers. We finally have arrived here. We've been waiting for it for months. Gen season is officially upon us. Episode one in the books. Night one in the books. Limo entrances in the books. First impression, Rose, in the books. We are here. H how are we feeling, guys? I I'm pleasantly... I'm not even pleasantly surprised because I expected Jen to do well. I'm very happy. Very happy with that episode. Initial thoughts. Big, like, uh, diversity in personalities. Oh, yeah. That's one of the biggest thing I noticed. Like, all the guys seem very different. A lot of times you got, like, a lot of guys that are, like, similar. But, like, I feel like every single person is the, kind of their own vibe, which is which is going to be interesting. I think, I think it's going to cause for a lot of drama, a lot of good drama, a lot of... Uh, you know, getting to know a lot of the uh, the guys better. Yeah, I think a lot of cornballs in this group. I definitely oh, yeah. a lot of bad doofuses. Puns, a lot of doofuses. A lot of doofuses. Yeah, do a lot of goofy guys. Goofy guys. <laughs> goofy mo. Um. All right, so let's start out with the league. I haven't even checked. I guess we won't have stats for our Batchmaker Public League, but um, we'll have those out on our Instagram. People can check that. We all. Ari Square after week one. Six points yeah. each, six roses each, two sent home on each team. So I'll start with my team. I lost my second and third pick, which not who I thought was going home. Mose sealed yeah. his fate the second Told you that. the second that he said he ghosted people frequently. Yeah. All right, I was like, see you, Mose. Thanks for that one. Have you ever ghosted anyone? All the time. <laughs> Damn. Shouldn't have son done that. And then we had Matt, who I thought was going to be a pleasant surprise, and he just never really delivered. Yeah. Nothing came of it. The ginger shot, nothing. I thought he was going to have a really unique personality, which he probably did. It just didn't fit. But I, I wouldn't say I'm, like, surprised, but it happened, and those two are gone. But I, I feel fine knowing you guys also lost, too. So, Mike, you lost... Uh, both Kevin and Brendan, how are we feeling? Um, I didn't think those would be the two I'd be losing. Um, Hakeem is still here, and so like, <laughs> shout out to Schomburg boy. Um, but yeah, I, th I thought he was gone. Um, but he got one, so uh, um, I knew I uh, wait, Brendan. I knew he was gone when he pulled out a pepper and then decided to double down and eat another pepper. You knew he was when gone he when he walked out of the limo. He walked out of the limo and just oh, pepper, and I'm just like, one, you're about to you're about to talk to a girl face to face, very close up. Do you really want pepper breath? Wild take. Um, Canada, what's up with that? What's up with that, Canada? Um, but yeah, uh, Kevin, he's 35 and he looks older than that. Looks like he got some he got some work done on his face. I'm not gonna lie. So. Um, he looked kind of out of place there, so uh, it's tough to see him go. But uh, hey, whatever. We still got six people, so we still got a fighting, fighting, uh, fighting chance. Yeah, we're all in it. Anyone's leaked win. Yeah. I do need to address why I'm wearing sunglasses right now. I am, uh, some might say, being a hero right now. I'm fighting a big time migraine. So again, don't applaud me. Say I'm a hero, but I might be. Lizzie, hero. How do we feel about your team, Lizzie's Glizzies? Well, so, so I. Well, I'm not calling them that, but you can. Lizzie's yeah. lovers. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did lose Dakota and Ricky, but they were my last two draft picks. So part of me is not shocked that they were the last two that I lost. Um, but We I tried to tell you Dakota was going home. We, we well, tried. I, I just wanted to have hope, okay? And he yeah, does Someone had like to draft guy. him. Yeah. He seems like a sweet guy. They both will find their love elsewhere. They are just not for Jen. Maybe, yeah. Well, that's fine. <laughs> um, Maybe. I'm just saying, like, it's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. Hey, yeah. We can hope. 
and that's all we I can, can do as I, their I, captain yeah. is that I hope yeah. nothing but the best for them. And we do need them. to address the elephant in the room. Um, Brett goes home. What like moment of silence, please? Can we just have a moment of silence? Of an of an angel. Angel. I wow. will nice remember you. Yeah, that's tough. Will that was so you tough. remember me? Yeah, that, that was he, I, it's he ridiculous. Even, he even pulled out the splits. He even pulled out the splits in the yeah, truth that's there what I'm saying. and still went home. Oh, 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 that was so impressive. I was like, there's no way his pants didn't just crack there. How did, how did, how do the seams hold that in? Hold that but dump truck in. <laughs> but uh, hey, you know, um, America still won because we got to see Brett. It's better than not seeing Brett at all. That's true. It's better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. And we loved Brett. We really yeah. did. And, I, really and did. I also still love Brett dearly. So that's yeah. All so I'm hey, saying. Brett. I mean, you got some free time now. I know the show isn't live, but like, you can come on if you want to come hang out. Yeah. Anytime. Open invite. And, uh, and uh, Lizzie's DMs are open. They are open. <laughs> Brett. They are open if you're interested in any way. Um, Pennsylvania batch, is not that batch far. Makers? Batch makers? Batch makers or matchmakers? Pennsylvania yeah. is not that far from Ohio, and I will say that. Well, I can't. I can't believe you cast someone like Brett and let him go home night one. I put. I put that on the producers. You can't let that happen. Yeah. yeah. He's he has two qu- quotes for me in quotes of the week. And he's we're we're, we're going to miss out on so many Brett gems for the rest of the season. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's tough. It's so tough to see. Um, let's get straight into it then. Uh, I have a few quotes of the week and a few cringes of the week. I have quite a few quotes. Anyone want to throw some out there first? Um, my um, my immediate quote of the week was Jeremy getting out of the car. Oh, Jeremy just saying he has a big dick. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. That was a crazy thing. Absolutely yeah. crazy line. To say. Mike, you want to yeah. defend your number one overall pick there? This type's the car. Overcompensating. But. Yeah, you said it, not me. I wanted to let you know that, in fact, I have a really big. I know. Like a really big. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm super excited to <laughs> meet you. Did you just say the P word? <laughs> Um, yeah, Jeremy, bro. Um, I'll, I'll defend it. Well, I thought he was going to like switch it at the end. You know how like some people be like very big, big, and then say like personality or something like that. So I thought that's where he was going with it. And, and, you know, that's obviously a move, right? And that's kind of a, kind of a cliche thing to do, but it's a move. Um, but then he went with it, but technically it was blurred out. So we might not know what he actually said. That's so I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say he said something um besides that so um but hey you pull it up in the car um i don't know how you like lose your keys and or how brian got the keys but I yeah guess we, we'll get into the the car uh, argument because that was ridiculous car argument car argu- nice i can't he- really see you but i assume you made like your like face these sunglasses uh, i literally can't see i'm just i'm, I'm listening care. to a podcast right now <laughs> <laughs> Sick, bash makers. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the first talking. listener of this episode. Um, so that I was in my cringe of the your, week, the big penis. As one. I, say, I will say, as your um, your producer, you cannot give him the benefit of the doubt because Jen did say to him, um, "Did you say the p word?" Oh, so he said penis. Say the p word. Yeah. Well, there's more. There's more than one p word. There's more than one words that start with p. So, like, what? My what a other p one. word? personality personality pen that's a big p word pen um pencil which also refers to portfolio he, we, portfolio yeah he's, he's got a, a car he's got a massive yeah. portfolio a real estate yeah. real estate portfolio he, that's right up jeremy Dally. so how? how do we know let's let's fight the allegations how do we know he said penis we don't property. know we, we, we will never know he's What's got a property? massive his airbnb he's got massive property massive uh uh, penicillin, pen, pen, is that it? 
what penicillin is a thing. Yeah, yeah. Penicillin is that's the thing with like lead, right? Or something. No, that is ah. you, get, you get penicillin shots. You get you penicillin get, shots, yeah, right? Yeah, penicillin shots. I don't know what you're but, saying with but, lead. But that is a drug. It's not lead. Um, I'll say this. It probably wasn't penicillin. Probably not. Probably um not. that was but that was in my cringe of the week. Um let's just I'll knock yeah. out my other cringe of the week while we're on it before we get okay. some quotes. Cool. Wait, let me get let me get my quint cringes first because okay. I don't have quotes specifically. Okay, go ahead. Um, my cringe for sure was Brian stealing the car. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That was just cringe. The way he handled it and just all of his interactions in the car seemed very cringy, especially like when that's not even your car. I don't know. The whole situation was very awkward. He just bullied Jeremy for, for some reason. Like I don't know no what reason. Jeremy did to him. No he reason. Just, he was like, dude, yeah. you don't have the horsepower for her, bro. I was like. Yeah, and he kept saying the horsepower. I'm like, did he think that was a bar? Did he think like, oh, horsepower? Like, what? That's not a bar. That's not a bar. That's not clever. That's not a pun. It's just a word. No, yeah. It's just, it's just like you're trying to use a car thing, but it doesn't really work. Hey, brother. What's going on? I don't know. I'm now to drive away. Oh, I gotta go. I'm just kidding. Huh? I said, I don't know if you have enough horsepower for my dog. Oh, you have my key? No, no, no. no. This is my key right now. Oh no, thank you, bro. Yeah, no. Nah. I appreciate you. She wants to take my car for a drive. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna take her for a drive. I- um, but yeah, that was that was a really cringe, awkward situation. Um, and then my other cringe of the week was um, uh, uh, th- uh, Thomas uh, when yeah uh, the swimmer when yeah 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 the swimmer when um when they were doing truth or dare and it was a dare and it was like to impression of Jen and he was like Thomas, will you accept this rose? I thought that was cringe. I'm sorry. Like at that point, do an impression. Like, come on, do some like shot o'clock thing. I I don't like the whole like. Uh, I don't know. I, I had no cringy. problem with that. Maybe. To be honest, I didn't either. It was clever but cringy. That feels clever, like something I would have done. To be honest, and it's a safe way to get out of doing a bad. Like if you do a bad impression of Jen, he's going home. Yeah. No, they had the Vietnamese connection. I, okay. She's not going home. That's a slippery one. slope to do an impression of a lady you just met. So I think he did well there, to be honest. But if you knock it out of the park, it's true. Uh, my, I, uh, I, I was going to say, I only ahead. have one cringe of the week. Go for it. Okay. My cringe of the week was uh, Grant's beatboxing entrance on the limo. Tough one. That oh, was tough. Limo. Whoa. It was, it was tough. It was a tough watch. She was a I'm sorry. Good beatboxer. No, I'm sorry. That was a tough watch for me. Ready? Okay. Tough watch. I'm with Lindsay there. That was tough. It didn't quite make my cringe of the week, but he like it was tough because you beatbox and then he rapped and it was like, what are we like doing it, here? Yeah, it just did not. It's weird. Um all right, my other cringe of the week besides the I have a big penis joke was uh, Aaron. I don't know if you guys saw this. He fist bumped Jen at some point. They were having their conversation, and they were like, I forget what Aaron said, but Aaron was like, yeah, I'm just looking for like someone who's like to be my best friend. And then they just fist bumped like while sitting right next to each other. A companion. I really just want a friend, someone to go through life with, and just like we can grow together. Love you for who you are. You don't best friend your fist. You don't. Fist bump <laughs> you don't. Your you don't best friend your fist bump. <laughs> you don't best friend your fist bump, dude. Like, um, yeah, no, he was. I I think he was very shy and like nervous. Like he seemed more nervous than even Jahan, and Jahan like got called out for looking nervous. Yeah. Yeah. So. Aaron, well, I'll give it to him. He's yeah. All right. Fine. Right. Whatever. We'll give Aaron the benefit of the doubt. He was nervous. Um, all right. Quotes of the week. Let's run through some of them. Uh, some Brett ones. When he said Sam looks like he should be in Top Gun 3. She's all that. You look like you should be in like Top Gun 3. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Great yeah, quote. that's good. Great quote. Um, it's This is for the producer. Shout out to the producers on Sam's name card. It said, never been to third base emotionally. Very funny. <laughs> it's a great line by them. Yeah. Um, producers kind of in their bag today. Well, we can talk yeah. about the show as a whole, but. And on the Instagram too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sam N had some awkward moments for sure. 
Um, he did during the rose ceremony say, "My anxiety is out of control, and I've never had anxiety." Dude's just nervous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just it's just a nervous thing. <laughs> Not everything's anxiety. I think he's all right there. Um, I do want to point out one thing. Every guy, the whole as a unit, when someone walked into the room, they were like a frat party. When someone else walks in the room, they're all like, "Hey." Like for some yeah. reason, they were all just like in party mode. Hey. Oh. Whoa, love the energy in here. <laughs> More than other seasons, they were just, they would. Jesse pointed out he was like, "I love the energy here." Like every time someone walked into a room, they would celebrate like they it was their birthday, and it was just a weird camaraderie that had happened right away with them. It was just strange. Yeah. No. I definitely got that too. Yeah. I think it's because of the mix of personalities and oh, okay. the goofiness. Uh, let's see what other quotes that I have. Oh, Brett said, I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm always tea. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm always tea. So I have. Love that. Which. Bar. Hey, I will say though, Brett, you are everyone's cup of tea. No one's anti Brett yes. ever. All of America loves you. Um, and then I want to point out something for Jen. And I love Jen. She's great, well spoken, handled herself great. She said first and foremost. She didn't. Yep. It wasn't. Foremost. She said foremost. She said she like. She said first and foremost. I don't think she knows foremost is a word. Like F O R E M O S T. I think she said for and most. First and form and like and for most. I, however, she said it. It un- She said it. Go ahead. She said it was like first and for F O R most. Yeah. Not first and foremost. Yeah. First and, first and foremost. <laughs> I want to say first and foremost, thank you for literally the most amazing night ever. I feel like the most. So like she emphasized most and I was like. <laughs> You're like who? Yeah, I don't think she knows foremost is a word, which is fine. Not everyone. Yeah. Like, what, what do you want? What do you want her to know all the words? She's tired. She was tired. She's not going to know tired. all the words. I don't know all the yeah. words. That's fine. She was tired. So I'll give her a benefit of the doubt, but that was funny. Um, and I think that is it for all of my cringes of the, or quotes of the week. So let's get in to the actual episode. Lizzie, I'll let you. Wait, should we do Jen's gents? Oh, we do need Jen. Good call. That's why we have you as producer. We need Jen's yeah, gents. Uh, Mike, you want to go first? Jen's Jen of the week. Yeah, I've kind of got two, but I'm going to rip them both. And they're actually both on my team too. So I'll shout them out. First is Jonathan. Um, the balls to just wrap your whole head and come in with your fucking cheeks out. Ballsy, gotta respect it. Mm-hmm. Should that should that have gotten first impression, Rose? I think on sixty percent of women it would have. But hey, um, I respect I respect the grind, respect the hustle. Jonathan, first gen gen of the week. Second, I don't know how many times I'll be able to give him gen gen of the week, so I'm giving to him now. Hakeem, he made it through the episode. Um, so I'm going to give him my MVP also for this week. And mainly because he had like a hundred balloons strapped to him. So many balloons. And then they, the, when the, when the, when the cameras followed him in and he's just talking to, I think, uh, De- uh, Jahan outside yeah, and all the balloons pops. are just popping on the fucking tree. And I'm just like, what, like, what is going on? And then his eyes, oh. that man has got the widest eyes. All of his reactions when they, when they were like, Oh, we're going to Melbourne, Australia. He was like, Melbourne. Like that man is animated. So um, I'll give it to him. Shout out to Sean Bird boy. Shout out, shout out to Hakeem. That was great. Uh, Lizzie, who's your um, gents gent of the week. Okay. So I have two, but I feel like one is more MVP than just Jen. Um, well, so I wonder my, who that is. Yeah, so my MVP is Sam M. Love you, Sam. You did amazing. Um, shout out to you for getting the first impression, Rose, and first kiss. Really proud of you. He, um, he, got, he got almost more than a first kiss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's about to be a That first, kiss uh, was crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, mm-hmm. they kept going at it. They kept going at it for sure. As he should. As he should. Oh, there's a wild first. I was like, Jen, look, come on. Come on, there's other she, there's other she men. Was, she was not moving anytime soon. Yeah, she yeah, was. She was like, it was. She was like, all this tension build up, good to get it released, and I was like, whoa, what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? 
that was that was wild. Jesse was like, "Hey, can we uh, get this thing going? I got I got to get hey out." Hey guys, here. like we we got to wrap this up. Yeah. Um, but my my Jen's gent of the week is um uh, is our boy John M. Oh, shout out to John M. Um, yeah. I really liked his his entrance with the the stool and saying yeah, how he was move. always going to put her on a pedestal. I thought that was really clever. But he's also one of Lizzie's lovers, so shout out to yeah. John M. He is a Lizzie Glizzy, that's for sure. Um, sure, a Lizzie Glizzy. My, your words, not mine. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. My Jen's gent of the week is going to go to... I'm going to go an underrated pick, uh, one of the wise men. I think had a great performance. Didn't Didn't, like, stand out, but never waver like it was an automatic like this guy is pretty locked in towards the top i'm going with marcus my guy i think marcus was yeah. great also hey can we like shout out the troops maybe salute the troops thank you for your service um and i mean that's why i picked it up i love the troops more than you guys so it's not a competition oh, no, for sure but like you guys all could have drafted him i got him in the second round and you didn't crazy did i, did I not tell you i wanted him Oh well, it's crazy because you had two picks before him and you yeah, didn't take him. Well, I'm sorry. So that's on me. That's on yeah. me. Sorry, I love the troops, but shout out to Marcus. He's my gents gent of the week. And with that, with that, let's go ahead get into the interview. Mike, what did you think of that intro? Uh, yeah. So the opening scene, obviously, just not even doesn't even come close to Joey's. Joey's got me so electrifyingly excited for the season with the Billie Eilish, Joey crying, the beach, the vibes, everything, you know, him huddling with the producers that got me going for the season. Right. And this intro, I don't know. It just wasn't there. Um, but it did kind of tease a little bit of the whole, is she going to be engaged at the end of the season? No. The outro, so. the outro made up for it for me. And you said you texted us that you didn't see it. The mm -hmm. teaser at the end of this episode was genuinely not not a pun, but nice, genuinely nice. like mind blowing. I was shocked how imp or like not even impressed. It was just it was I was locked in. I was like, whoa, this it got me pumped up for this season. I'm very excited for it. Um, so Mike, you need to go watch that because it teased a lot. Yeah, I'll go. Watch you have it. an ex that shows what? up. What? An ex, a former mm -hmm. ex of her shows up. She talks about it never before seen. Uh, she calls out a bunch of drama. It's what she goes after Sam for like love bombing her. Basically, a lot of crazy stuff happens. So definitely, definitely yeah. watch the end of that. Uh, I, I agree. I don't like to, the intro was solid. I don't like to watch the, the teasers. I don't want to. I don't want to get it anything spoiled. Yeah. I want to see that drama firsthand. I agree. This is the only teaser I really want to watch. That first one where it sets up the season. After this, I don't really watch them um, at the end. But um, I don't know. I just I I think the intro was decent. And what? Let, let's just let's let's speculate a little bit. You think she's engaged? Um, I feel like it's one of those in between kind of things. Like they're not might not be a ring on the finger, but there's like a ring in the pocket. I you know I think when she says I can't let you propose to me, I think she's just breaking up with her second choice. I think it's as simple as that. Like I can't let you get on a knee yeah. because it's not you. That'd be like a classic way of like editing it to make it look more dramatic than it is. So. Yeah, it could be that. But uh yeah, I mean if she's engaged, she's engaged. Um That's no that's a what. true statement. If she gets engaged, she definitely probably is engaged. Yeah. Great point, Mike. Um, that's journalism. No, I mean if she's engaged, she's engaged. <laughs> if she's married, know, she's man. married. If she's single, she's single. We'll just say the facts. If she's Jen, she's Jen. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um all right, I kind of wanted to just run through some of the entrances because like the yeah. majority of the episode is just the entrances and we can just get like quick hits on what we thought and we'll get to know these guys more and more um marcus walked in very simple didn't do much he's he's way more yoked than i thought he was gonna be like the dude is built i know he's like an army ranger but he was sh like built stocky stocky broad 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, when I found out he was an army ranger and he's 31, I was kind of expecting like bigger, to be honest, <laughs> to be completely honest. All right. But uh, yeah, no, like he was big, you know, he was, he was built. Um, uh, Marvin way taller than I thought, but I think this was a common theme early on. I think Jen's just tiny. Uh, Jen is definitely like five, five, two, yeah. five, three for sure. So everyone looks for sure. Tall. Besides, yeah, Dakota. except and and Mose and Sam, um, the other, yeah, yeah. Oh, not Sam. Sorry, uh, Thomas. When, Thomas, yeah, yeah the, the uh, swimmer. Yeah. So, um, all right, let's talk about the other Sam. So basically, there's Sam who has a chance of winning, and then there's the other Sam. <laughs> That's how I'm yeah, gonna refer to them. Yeah, then there's the Sam that was like not like crying like i need a rose so bad or it's the end of my life but you know he kind of was doing that um in a sense um but yeah it's, uh first impression rose sam i can't remember it's m and n i think doesn't m- matter at one's m- so sam n is the non-contender okay so sam m is the contender yeah. um you know instant chemistry i don't know his his he kind of seems a little fake to me. I'm not going to lie. First impression is that he like is coming off a little bit like playery and yep. um, like is wants to like succeed and win. And I don't know. And obviously everybody wants to win and, you know, wants Jen's love, but I don't know. He came off. His voice was just like, it didn't, didn't seem, didn't seem yeah. he's exactly like uh, he's there for the right reasons. I said it. Yep. I'm I'm kind of with you. I think he he's a season wrecker. That's what he is. He's going to define this season. Whatever happens with Sam will define this season. He's going to be around for a while. He'll be there late, and he's gonna he's gonna be a game wrecker. I mean, I don't know. I'm not I'm not gonna say he's like a late lock. I'm not saying he's a late I think lock. He's a late yet. lock. That's so, so early. I mean, first impressions rose never seem to truly truly pan out. Bachelorette. You know? Fun fact: fifty percent of them win. What? Fifty percent of Bachelorette first impression, or let's forty six percent, but close to fifty percent of first impression Charity. rose win. Charity. Charities wasn't Doughton, uh, or wait, maybe it was, but I just saw Bachelor data posted this like a couple really? of hours ago. So fifty percent. It's like forties. It's high forties. Um, so that's something to keep an eye on. But I, I agree. I don't think he wins this thing. No, he was, yeah, he was no, engaged he uh, two days ago. Pretty much. So, yeah. But I think he definitely goes far. Um, Thomas, the swimmer, just makes me laugh every time I see him. I don't know why. He's just kind of goofy. Yeah. A lot of these guys just make me laugh. We talked about Brendan and his hot pepper. Yeah. Um, Dakota and Kevin, they showed up back to back because they were like, these guys are going home, so let's just get them in there. Um, yeah. Spencer yeah. had his pocket squares. Hey, I, he's got a lot of screen time. He got a lot of screen time for not a lot of conversations with Jen. I think that's a great sign. Uh, what I'm percent, on Spencer. What percent of his screen time has already aired? Very low. Very low percentage. I think, no, no, I, I think no. 80% of his screen time has already aired. No, he seems a little goofy, but I think he was just nervous. He's going to come, come into his own. I think uh, – if he if he doesn't do well, uh, my team might be royally screwed. So uh, yeah, you might be in trouble here, Mike. I'm just like, we, who's we the need... best contender of your team? Uh, right now, Grant? looking like I don't know, Jonathan. I think Jonathan oh, yeah, is yeah, the yeah. Char- is a character, and I think she's all in on that. I think I, th- I think yeah. she's really in Jonathan. So I could see that. We'll see. Um, I one thing I was really disappointed about was uh, Tomas isn't Tomas. It's just Thomas. Yeah, yeah, no, that was disappointing, especially because he's Canadian. Yeah, Canadian, I thought would just like it would be a layup to go Tomas, but I guess maybe that's like Spanish or I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's like a Maria thing. Yeah, is it Spanish? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm still gonna, but call, hey, call him Tomas. He got he really didn't get any screen time after the whole puppy thing, so maybe that was a yeah. He started he started off really strong, and which then, maybe thinks maybe next episode or episode three he'll get a lot of screen time. So yeah. Well, what did you think about the Jonathan face wrap and just barren ass? I know we talked a little bit about it, but I, I think it could have gone so much worse for him. And I think it played off well, which means 
he could have a future here on the show. Yeah, I think if he was really ugly, like really ugly, and did it, it could have really backfired yeah. on him. Yeah. <laughs> it could have really backfired on him. I think no matter what she gives him a rose, if he's ugly or not, uh-huh. or if he's like, well, if he was weird and did that, like if he was like really awkward and weird about it, then he probably would have not gotten a rose and I don't know, maybe gotten a felony. I don't know. That's a decent exposure. I don't, I don't even You're know. right. I mean, he did just um, bare ass in front of everybody. They yeah. They and he was like kind of showing the cheeks too. Um, I thought he was going to like change into a suit when he got inside, but uh, I kind of like his idea of the whole got to get to know me in the inside before the out. <laughs> smart play by him um dylan b came in pretty strong entrance again all our first round draft picks survived so that's a start good for yeah. us um and mo- most of our second round draft picks too yeah yeah besides me thank yeah i know <laughs> thanks appreciate that um who else we got entrances wise uh De- oh devin getting compared to pete davidson I didn't see I mean, it I can, when she said it, and then the more I looked at it, it sunk in. But I don't, yeah. I don't I mean, he, love the comparison. He seems goofy. He he does. He he is a self proclaimed loud. But if if you self proclaim that you're like a loud person, loud personality, that means more likely than not, you're a little bit too loud. Mm-hmm. You're a little bit too extra. So we'll see where that goes. I'm sure we're going to learn more about it. Oh, I hate people who um, are like, yeah, I'm just such an extrovert. I just, I'm like, just so quirky. I'm just so like, – I'm, I'm a loud person. I'm an acquired taste. Like, shut up. You're just annoying then. I don't yeah, – I don't. that's yeah. not Devin. But yeah, the, we're not. But people like that who are like, yeah, I'm a loud uh, person. It's like, no, you're just annoying. And like I appreciate the self-awareness by knowing you're loud. But no, you're just an annoying person. Yeah, no, but it definitely seems like he's got a big personality. So we're – you know, that's, that's, that's something Yeah, I mean, that's needed. That's needed on season. So, um, all right, let's talk about the, the only real drama of the episode is pretty clean fun for most of the episode. Just getting to know these guys, which I, I didn't hate. Um, yeah. the weird car moment between Brian and Jeremy. So basically Jeremy's in the car with Jen, the car he drove in. Brian somehow gets the keys to the car which I guarantee your producer was like, hey, here's the keys if you're going to go steal her. <laughs> and then he just like bullied Jeremy for some reason. It was like, dude, you don't have the horse. Yeah. Pa- like, I, Brian, he's on my team. He's a wise man. So maybe he, this is all part of the plan. I do have a tendency to draft the big villain of the season, uh, having drafted Sydney last season. So maybe that's just what I do. But it's just weird vibes. All the like, it almost wasn't. It felt intentional against Jeremy rather than, hey, I just want to talk to Jen. He just kept going yeah, yeah. in over and over on Jeremy for some reason. I was like, dude, just steal the time. Like, you don't have to attack yeah. Jeremy. Just say, like, I'm going to talk to Jen now. Yeah, it's an awkward scenario for everybody because because if Jeremy like says no or like or like the rightful thing, like, dude, this is my fucking car. Oh, yeah, this is what? my car. <laughs> like what's going on why do you have my keys like the fact that like a stranger because at this point they're really strangers yeah. he barely he barely knows brian to have like another dupe man's keys and just not give it back if you're a stranger that's like such a goofy like that's why i texted right away i was like this yeah. man's a goofy um so that was weird especially like i don't know there's a good chance they didn't know each other's name at that point yeah like yeah. Jeremy was like, I don't know who this guy is. He has my car now. Yeah, like I'd be really concerned. Like, and then he was inside making. Uh, they were like doing like a little rap thing after, and they were sitting on the couch and oh like, yeah, he was, like, I-, I can't remember the exact words. What is like? Just something like I'm gonna take his, a shit. Jeremy's car, and Jeremy said it, and they painted Jeremy. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like that is just so. That's kind of fucked up, man. Like that. That's fucked. Uh, I think Jeremy had to handle the situation well. Um, he kind of seemed a little bit, a little bit butthurt, but like rightfully so. Yeah. Like that's a re- really weird like thing to do to a person. Yeah, I'm team. I'm team Jeremy from the. I, I felt yeah. bad for him. Yeah, he literally just yeah. got bullied for no reason. Yeah, which 
which kind of brings up the point that Jen made, where she's like the villain. You kind of she, she kind of knew. knew who the villain was going to be night one. Is is Brian the villain? I think it's a coin flip. I think it's between Brian and. See, I don't think she John. thought Sam was the villain after night one, but I think he's go he's about to turn into one. No, she wouldn't give the villain a first impression. That's the thing. I knew. that's I don't think she, that's who she was thinking. John, Jonathan. No, he didn't ruffle any feathers. He kind of, people kind of liked him, but he was different. So maybe like people saw people see different as, yeah, you know, villainy. We I don't know. we might be overthinking this. I think it's just Brian. Yeah, it's probably just yeah. Brian. Um, I mean, Thomas did steal somebody too. He stole from Grant. Yeah. Wait, Thomas the swimmer Thomas. Or, or Tomas? Swimmer. Okay. Swimmer. Let's just can we just call Tomas Tomas? Right, yep. Cool. I mean, we already have been. You're so. right. You're right. Can we just call it? If, hey, she's engaged. She's engaged. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, everything else from the episode. Again, they play that truth of dare, which was fine. I mean, yeah, I, was, what else do you? But I also think night one, you don't need. Yeah, you don't need to be playing game. Like, get to know these yeah. people. It's a long night already. They're staying till the morning. The rose ceremony yeah. is in the light. So yeah. Like just maybe just like talk one on one with all these guys. So it's weird that they're trying to fill time on night one. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. Bringing up games night one that was very like Love Islandy. Yeah. Obviously not the type of games they play on Love Island, but like I don't know. It, it definitely seemed new and strange. Um, kind of like the night one card with Leia. So I guess they're just trying trying new things. But uh, they're trying. Another failure, I would say. <laughs> there wasn't. That wasn't that that wasn't that fun as a viewer. Oh, for two. Except except we saw Brett do a splits, so which is worth it. Up. Worth it. So, um, all right. And then Sam ends up getting the first impression rose. We've talked about him. We're not fully sold on him being an end game contender. It feels like there's a lot of trap. It's a trap. It's, it feels like a trap. It feels like I mean he was he was engaged two days ago. So like, not again. It was like a year ago, but, um. He's definitely going to be around, but it feels like it's not going to be sunshine and rainbows with them the whole way. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Actually, let's just go through who all we lost again. So our fallen soldiers, we lost Brett. We lost Brendan, old man, yeah. Kevin, Moe's, yeah. ghost Moe's, cool facial hair, Matt, Dakota, and Ricky. Ricky's probably the most just shock. Oh, sh I was going to say, like, we just didn't know anything about Ricky. Like, Ricky could have just I not mean, been on this episode. I don't remember seeing much. Yo, I think out of all the guys that got in, got eliminated, Moe's did have that little algebra one-on-one -on -one with Jen. Uh -huh. But Ricky had a lot of, like, screen time, like, talking with the, with the other dudes. I guess and he was all right. just like, oh, have you guys kissed her yet? You know, he was, like, bringing up the conversations. So I didn't think he'd, he'd be a night one -er, to be honest. He seems he seems yeah. like the the safest pick out of those yeah. seven. I had him kind of high up in my in my confidence ranking. Oh yeah, which, compared to compared to the other dudes. Yeah, I don't know how I did. So we'll post all those uh, final results on our Instagram. So make sure you're following at Good Time Content there to see who's winning. Thanks for everyone who joined the league, by the way. Decent amount of people. So we appreciate that, especially our Patreon members um, who joined that as well, who will compete for the cash prize, which is going to be awesome. Um, and shout out to Bracketology who's running that. And so we don't have to keep track the whole time because that would be brutal for us. So very glad we don't have to do that. Um, all right. To wrap up one thing, as we look forward to the rest of the season, they're like we said, they're not in the bachelor mansion, which if they never would have stated that, Hey, we're not in the bachelor mansion. I never would have noticed that we're not in the bachelor mansion. Stop. I never stop. I I forgot we weren't in the Bachelor Mansion as soon as they said we're not in the Bachelor Mansion. The outside looks so different. No, it doesn't. It's the, the same. The stairs, no, the stairs are so more like <laughs> steep and there's so many like more I never would have noticed and bodies. also I wouldn't have cared. But they're making I wouldn't have cared either. Yeah. It it looks the exact same. Exact. I mean, okay, I, don't know. But, I mean, it's a different. It looks place. expensive. It looks expensive. Yeah. I'll give um, them that. But they're going to Australia right away. That's a that's a fat trip. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Hey, I guess Joey season 
got ABC the bag, so they're willing to spend it. They're willing to spend What's it. So uh, hey, How I mean, I'm sure they, it? I'm sure they do charter. I'm sure they charter them out there. I'm sure they're not commercially flying those guys. Actually, no way. A charter for what? Six, LA, LA like, to Sydney 16. is sixteen hours. Oh wow, that's a that's a that's a fat flight. <laughs> that's probably longer than they've known Jen. Oh yeah, and they're probably leaving the next morning. Yeah, and so they're and well, they're probably leaving later that day. Honestly, yeah, they have, they're probably getting sleep for three four hours, and then they got to hop on a plane. They're gonna be on a plane to Australia. They actually, might not even go to sleep. Yeah, might not. They're they're literally gonna be on a plane longer than they've known. They're on a plane to go fall in love with a woman that they haven't known for the length of the flight. That that makes sense. Did I say that correctly? Yeah, no. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. They're flying for love, and the flight itself is longer than the love has lasted. It's wild. That's a crazy – I thought they were going to go to, like, Phoenix. I thought they were to stay, like, continental. But no. They're just like, let's just go to Australia first. Wild. Yeah. Very wild. But, hey, I'm excited. That'll be be more fun than just being in, you know, whatever – LA or whatever. So I agree. Um, thanks for shrimp on the Bobby mate. All right. Last thing, wrap up episode one. Uh, do you want to do it? Let's we'll do a hot seat. Sure. Instead of like we last, last couple seasons, we've done like the two first. Oh, the two first. But it's pr- like, it's pretty easy to pick Twofers. someone who's going to stay at this point. I think we just do a hot seat. <laughs> The twofers. The twofers. The twofers might be. Look, nice. look, look at my stash right here. Kind of looks the cool. Twofers. The twofers. Um. All right, Mike. Who is on the hot seat for you? If you had to put your money on who is going home next week, who are you choosing? I love you, Hakeem, but I'd put. You've you've definitely got minus three hundred odds going home next week, so I would say Hakeem. I would say Hakeem. Okay. Um. But if I had to say somebody not Hakeem, um. I'd probably say uh, Sam N. Yeah. Just because he was very close this week. Yeah, thanks for choosing the two people I probably would have chosen. So I got to say someone else now. Um, I would – I think maybe John Mitchell. Yeah, we didn't get a lot of him. We didn't get a lot of him. He seems – I think I kind of nailed it with the in my superlatives. I think he's kind of a gentle giant. He's a big dude. He seems very quiet, reserved, shy. So I think that I think it just he, may, he might not just be the best fit for Jen. So he Warwick, huh? Warwick, is that you? War, Warwick. Welcome Warwick? back, Warwick. He's back. He's back. He's back to say. <laughs> Warwick, is that you? Every time there's dead silence. Oh, I didn't know <laughs> who invited Warwick here. Um, all right. Anything else you want to say from this episode? Any other notes you had? Um, no. Um, overall, you know, glad to be back. Oh, so good. It's, so it's, good. it's back. So, um, excited to see the rest of the season. Um, I don't take these yeah. cringes for granted. Let's go to Australia, mate. All right. And with that, everyone, thanks for listening. To episode one of Jen's season. Uh, if you watch this far, make sure you like, leave a comment who you think's in the hot seat, and uh, hopefully you're number one in our Batchmaker League. We'll post those results soon. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week in Australia. Peace.